Hello, this is Dr. E, and we're covering section 4.8 on Earth's geography and its effects on climate. We're going to describe how the Earth's geography affects weather and climate, and there's suggested skills to explain the relationships. What we see here is we have the geography. The geography is that we have a convergent plate where we're going to have the oceanic crust coming in, going underneath. This leads to lots and lots and lots of pressure, which will lead to the Andes Mountains. But the other thing it's going to do is because it's submerging, it's going to be subducting, it's going to cause volcanic um, volcanoes in the area also. That again is what we can find all along here. Climate is largely determined by insulation, which means that latitude determines the angle and the amount of atmosphere. Here we have a certain amount of power coming in, certain amount of power coming in. Here it's over a small area, here it's over a large area. Second of all, if you can see, this is going through a very small portion of atmosphere, meaning less light is being scattered than what is being scattered up here. That's why the sky appears bluer up here than it would at the equator. Higher latitudes receive less insulation, Therefore, it's cool and less precipitation, especially at 30 degrees north because of the Hadley cells. Equator receives the most intense insulation. Therefore, it has higher temperature, the air rises, and it has a high amount of precipitation. Geography also plays a role. Mountain disrupts wind and produce the rain shadow effect, which we'll learn about in a minute. Oceans moderate temperature and add moisture to the air. The Atlantic is very, very warm, and that's why the Georgia, Florida are so moist, and it's nice to swim over there. Pacific, the ocean is very cold, and therefore there's less precipitation on California. So what is a rain shadow? Warm, moist air comes in from the ocean and hits the windward, the side where the wind hits, and rises. When it rises, it cools off. Therefore, the water condenses, causing rain. And therefore, on this side of the mountain, say Seattle, it's going to be very moist. On the leeward side of the mountain, it's going to warm up. As it warms up, the moisture is not going to be able to come out. And therefore, it's going to cause dry desert conditions. Now, rain shot, another example would be the eastern trade winds blow moist air from the Atlantic right here across South America. And when it does that, the windward side of the Andes receives huge amounts of rain and because it's at the equator and because of the mountains. Therefore, we have the Brazilian rainforest. The leeward side over here is going to receive very dry air because all its moisture is gone, and therefore it's going to be fairly dry. 30 degrees, so you've got a combination of the rain shadow effect and the 30 degrees in this area right here, one of the driest places on the planet Earth. We can see right here, this is where the Hadley cell comes down, this is where it's the leeward side of the um, mountains and therefore there's very little if any moisture here whereas over here there's still moisture and again no moisture tons of moisture so frq 4.8 describe the regional precipitation pattern you would expect for the portion of south america indicated on the map Justify your answer. Thank you, and have a great day.